Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I was uh, messing with this head. Maybe we'll start with her. I was debating how I wanted to start. I was start. I was bunking around with. Hello, lady. Yes, yeah, she says hello to you all, people. The camera's even catching her. Well, anyways, yesterday I had mentioned these little clips that I had bought at the dollar store. Let me lay your head down. Lay your head down, dear. Okay. <laughs> She's so crazy. Oh, now if I can open the container. <laughs> oh, these are those click it containers that my husband designs and I have to figure out how to open it. I forgot how to open it. Here, you want to open it? It's, it's, it's childproof. <laughs> can you see it? No, not really. There you go. A little more this way. There you go. There's a tab right here. You push the tab down and the cover will open up. <laughs> I couldn't open it. Well, anyways, this is those little little clips that um, I had bought yesterday. I see everybody do this. I'll do that too. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll find it. I guess. I don't know if it's in focus or not. But anyways, those are the little clips. And they're like a little claw clip. And some of them I'm sure I chose one that doesn't open very good. Some of them don't open very easy. Oh, there's another one. Oh, gee whiz. I had four of them that didn't want to open very nice. There, this one opens nice. But anyways, I was talking about how you could put them in your hair if you're trying to grow your, your bangs out. And I was playing with this head, and I was thinking, man, this is not easy with her hair. She's got terrible hair. It's a lot easier on a child's head or your own head on real hair. But what you do is you just kind of part it and twist. You give the hair a twist. I can do, show you with mine. You, maybe I can. You take a little piece of hair and you just twist it. And I'm going to look so pretty. <laughs> I got another one that doesn't want to open. Oh dear. They've got duds in there. Anyways, you put it in your hair. I can't even see what I'm doing. Well, anyways, you put it in your hair. Oh, I'm not going to show you that. It's too hard for me to do it on my own with no mirror. And my hair is pretty short. But it's easy with on a child. You just make sure it's good and wet. And you twist it and you put it in. And then what you want to do is you take half strand from one side and half strand from another side. And that's when this other clip goes in. The other clip goes. So you take half and half. And then half here and half here and then you put your clip in and it makes like a weave it's a real pretty weave well that's enough of that <laughs> and I'm a hairdresser yeah on uh, one that needs a lot of help but I I've got the ones that don't want to open that's pretty sad okay now I want to talk about Bob he mentioned me twice in his video today and it's Mountain Crest Farms he was It's one. <laughs> oh, he did a slurp, and then he did one at the end. He's a big tease. And, yeah, you are allowed two slurps. That's it, and then no more. And Jim's got one more left, he, and he would did it deliberate. I don't I, I think the camera will, probably picked it up. I don't know. But and Bob did two today, and it was funny because I was writing my comment, and all of a sudden I hear that slurp, and it's like... Oh my goodness, he just did it again. And I burst out laughing just like I just did now. And when I go out to feed the chickens, I don't know if you notice on your ground, when I open the door for the chickens after the, in the morning, there's a, a lot of worm holes. Have you, I don't know if you see them or not outside the enclosed run. It's where it's damp and so the ground, and there's a lot of worm holes. Some days when I go out at the right moment, you actually see those worms go back down into their hole. And it looks like the earth is moving. It's kind of spooky, actually. Um, my daughter had to borrow the dog crate. She, had two, she has two cats, and the cats needed to be fixed. One was a male and one was a female. And she had brought them down to the place in one crate. And then they told her that she'll need two to come back because cats are not nice to each other when they're under sedation. When they're coming out, they get pretty nasty. 
So she came and got Jake, one of Jake's little carriers. So I washed it out so that the cat would go in it easy so it wouldn't smell like a dog. But my poor dog, when it went to bed that night, his carrier smelled like a cat because I didn't wash it out again. So he had a, he had a funny smelling cat. Also, this was really spooky to me, but Jim tore the gold wing apart. It's like, oh, I says, what are you doing? He says, you don't want to know. And I look and oh my goodness, all the guts are out of it. And he um, had to change. I says, while you're in there, you might as well change the filter because the filter is buried way down deep. So, and pulled, he got down to the filter finally. There's the clock. Now you'll know what time it is. I don't even know what time it is. Four, six o'clock. It's six o'clock. Ooh, wee. Okay. Anyways, he got down to the filter, and um, the filter was very dirty. So it's a good thing he was taking that out. But he had to order the parts. the The motorcycle still torn apart, and it's like oh, scary, ignition, huh? Ignition pulse generator. Ignition yeah. pulse generator is bad. is bad and it's buried really buried it's an 1800 mm -hmm. gold wing 1800. 1800 and it's like a very expensive machine to be all in pieces in my barn but he got that other thing together so I think he can get this together it'll be nice when it runs and I, he asked me if I was going to ride my bike anymore this year and I says no probably not I might take the gold wing and he says, I don't think so. <laughs> it's torn apart. So he put my bike away and if I really do, when he gets it together, if I really want to go somewhere, I could take the gold wing. It's actually riding and you'd be riding in style with that, where mine is just little little Honda that's got the extra wheels. Although it attracts a lot of people when I ride it. They, it conversation starts on that because of that bike it's way different than a lot of them that they've seen where the gold wing is typical like everybody else's bike well I guess that is it I think I covered everything the wormholes the chickens uh, mountain crust farms and the gold wing and my hair clips in the little case that I can't open um, you want to talk about your, your what? stepping steps my steps. What steps? The, the footsteps you heard. You oh, heard. Ho, ho, yeah. Oh, the the other yesterday, Jake and I were here by ourselves, and I hear steps coming down the stairs. So I went to look. There's nothing there. I came back to the kitchen and continued to do what I was doing. And I heard it again, and this time Jake barked, but he barked like it was going out the door. So I don't know, and I told Jim about it. I said it was kind of spooky because um, they were, it was like he was coming down the stairs and he wasn't even home. But I did, I heard, I heard um, footsteps on my steps. I haven't seen anything, but I heard footsteps and the dog barked. When the dog barks and chases after something, it's like, whoa, there must be something. Because I didn't see it, but you know, you never know what the dogs and the cats see. They sense things that we don't know are there. But I just kind of leaned and looked, and he's chasing. So I don't know what it was. But anyways, that was the steps. Okay, I'm done now. Now we can say goodbye, and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. So you have a great evening or a great day, whenever this is. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.